Hey, what's up guys? This is my review of the Tacticam FTS system and the 5.0 Ultra HD camera setup. All right, now I've used a lot of scope cam systems and believe me, every one of them has had that one, at least one major freaking drawback. This one I've been playing with for several weeks. I haven't found a damn thing about it I don't like. It does a lot of super freaking cool shit including filming all the way up to 4K. You're gonna see some footage later on and you're gonna also see another video where I do some shooting down range with this camera set up. All right, now what I'd like to do in this video is just show you guys what comes in the box with this particular system and show you how you attach it to a gun, how you hook it up to your device to get all the settings internally and how to record to get some badass footage. All right, enough of me talking right now. Let me show you what all comes with it. All right, guys, I do not do unboxing videos. So let me show you everything that comes in the box, and I'll show you how I hook this FTS Tacticam system up to my Savage Stealth 223 with my Valdata 3 to 25 by 50 scope on it. All right, right there, you can see the camera itself blinking. When it's blinking, it's actually recording. Now, here's the stuff that comes in the box. First, it's got a quick startup guide. It also has a little owner's manual that gets a little more in depth of how to use this thing. And it has these spacers. There's a total of seven. They go from one to seven. They're numbered from thickest to thinnest. That way it'll fit on virtually any scope. Nothing I had here at the house that it didn't fit on and it worked great. Now my particular scope took the number six. Now my scope is very, very thick. So that's the reason it took that one. It also comes with this charging cable and this old school type port. If you look around in your old charger drawer, you may have one. Now when you're charging this thing, the red light is on. When you first get it, there's no charge at all. So make sure and charge it all the way up. Now here's the little mirrored prism system that allows you to look through the scope and have something that will grab hold to it. And I mean, hold on like a freaking snapping turtle. The part right here, the widest part, is where the inserts go. The other part is where the camera goes into. And trust me, from doing this firsthand, do not touch the inside of that glass. It took me almost 30 minutes to ever get this thing back all the way clean where you couldn't see it through the scope. Now on the sides, there's two screws that hold the scope body itself. And on the other side, there's one screw that holds the Tacticam when you put it all together. And it's waterproof. Okay, now to turn this thing on, all you do is push and hold down the power button for about two seconds. When it comes on, it'll vibrate. Now you'll feel it in your hand easily. As soon as you turn it on, it's recording. To turn it back off recording, you push the power button again, just for a second, and it'll stop recording. Okay, now to be able to access everything on the back end of this camera, there's a latch right there that locks and unlocks. You just unlock it, Turn it counterclockwise and the cap comes off, which by the way, this is, fits really snug. It's water and dust resistant. Now inside there, there's a little cap. It shows you the three modes that it does depending on how it's lit up. Here's where the battery is. It just slides in and out and it holds up, best I can tell, for at least two hours. I've been having real good life out of it. There's a display on the app that shows you how long it works. So far, I don't have any problems with the battery at all. The SD card goes right in there. You push it in until it clicks. I'm using the 64, and right here you'll see where the charging port is hooked up to charge it. And there's also a cable. You can hook it directly to your TV so you can see what's going on or how you're filming. Put it all back together, close it, lock it, and you're getting ready to go. Now on the front end of it, as you can see, this is the Ultra HD. 5.0, there's the microphone, it's a little bitty hole, but believe me, it works. Now before you can go any further, you're going to need to turn the Wi-Fi on. So you push and hold down the mode button for just a couple of seconds, it'll vibrate, and you'll see the Wi-Fi signal start flashing that lets you know it's ready to connect. So go on the Play Store, whether it's Google or Apple, get the Tacticam app, it's free. And once you get the app and you open it, here's what the home screen is going to look like. Now, when you first turn it on, it's going to be in the first mode, which is just the regular mode. You'll be able to decide how much quality you want in it. Now, when you tap the AWB button on the top, you can adjust the zoom up and down like I just did. Now, when you go and set for the settings, you have 
all of these options. I'm using the white balance, leaving it on. I'm also turning off the image stabilization that's a little further down the menu. The reason that I turn that off is through a scope, a lot of times if you use the image stabilization, it gives it a little bit of a swimmy look, at least to my eye it does. I don't like the way it transfers to video, so I just don't use a damn thing. Now, once you get all of this set up, and by the way, you can change it anytime you want to, go back and then the top right hit the mode button. Now right here, we're checking out mode one. Now here you can pick the frames per second, which the higher frames per second allows you to show it in slow-mo, and you can also pick the quality. Now bear in mind, the higher quality takes up more room on the memory card. So that's just something to think about. Right here is the zoom function. Again, you can go through, pick the quality of the video that you want. I'm gonna show you some video at the very end of this, a real quick one, just to give you a teaser of how these all look. And you can go back on the slow motion and do the exact same thing. Pick the quality of the image, you can pick how many frames per second, and it gives you a lot, a lot to work with. It's really cool playing with them. I'm having a blast trying this stuff out and seeing which one works best through the scope that I have. Two more things and you're ready to go. Now in the bottom left where it says Tacticam, you can push that and either take photos, video, or time lapse. And on the right hand side in the middle, the big red button, that's what you push to record. Now there is a type of scope these won't work with. When you have illumination and it's right here on the ass end of it like this, you're not gonna be able to attach it. Now let me show you how I hook this thing up on my Valdata scope and you'll see why. It is gonna basically take up the whole eyepiece of this scope. Now by the way, it was not scarred like that from using this. It was scarred well before I got the Tacticam. I did that just cause I'm clumsy. Now you just shove the adapter down in there or on the scope first and then push it up and when it bottoms out inside of the body of the Tacticam, you're almost home free. Now, if you decide you want it on the right hand side, here's something to look at. The bolt on this particular rifle and the way the scope's set up, it won't work. But you can turn it straight up, straight down, or what I'm going to do is use it on the other side. It clears everything nicely. And once you get it squared up, just take the included Allen wrench, tighten the camera holder up, insert the camera, and tighten this screw right here, and you've got everything tight. Now, once you look back on your app, whether it's on a tablet or phone, you'll be able to tell that you got the thing squared up and down. Now, here's some test footage. Check this shit out. Here it is on 4K. This is at 48 yards, looking at a dove, and it's raining. Look how crisp and clear that is. Check it out on the zoom function. That's at 4K. 48 yards, you can see the rain just under the dove. Look at its blanket's eye. Now you tell me this is not gonna make some badass shit. Check it out on slow motion. Watch its eye blink. Isn't that a freaking trip? I dig this thing. All right guys, there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. There'll be a link below to Tacticam. Go on there and look at this camera. They have several different versions. The price range goes up and down depending on which one you want. They've got a lot of killer freaking mounts, a lot of cool freaking accessories. And it's a scope camera mount you can count on. That's the main damn thing. So many of these other scope camera mounts, when you hook them up on your gun, it's like walking through the woods with a big freaking treble hook hanging on the side of your gun. It hangs on everything. It won't stay put. It won't stay in focus. And you can't depend on the freaking thing. This is not like that. When you hook this thing up, it's like a set of Burris signature rings. They clamp onto the scope. They clamp onto this mount and nothing freaking moves. You just push one button, you're off recording, shooting, and that's the way that shit is supposed to freaking go. Thanks to Tacticam for dreaming this shit up. The mount that y'all came up with along with the camera, it's badass. And something else that's super freaking cool, when you get through, you don't have to have adapters to hook this to your phone, to hook it to your tablet, to hook it to your computer to download the images. It does it all over Wi-Fi. So you can just Wi-Fi it directly to your device so it's one damn less thing you have to carry, especially if you're at deer camp, you wanna show the guys what you just shot, how you filmed it. You just Wi-Fi it directly to your device, check it out, and you're off and rolling. Guys, I've got other videos coming featuring this Tacticam. I'm gonna be shooting it downrange and show you some destructive type shit. I think you'll enjoy it.
Take care, guys.